Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. The thing that a number eight does best is joining long boards. Now I've pulled this one out of the scrap pile. And this plane is not sharp. Nor is it adjusted. What I'm doing is turning the adjustment knob and advancing the blade. Start out with the blade down inside the body of the plane. And I'm working my way out to the point where it starts engaging. But with a part that's not flat, you can hit high spots, kind of like this one. Yep, it doesn't want to cut. So I have to back off on the plane a little bit, then just kind of sneak up on having it cut a small sliver. Now it's cutting. I'm pushing the fence up against the side of the board. The top of this piece of scrap that I'm working on is not flat, it's not square. Uh, if I just let the plane ride along the top of it, it'll continue to cut the same angle whatever it was to start with. By pressing the fence against the side of the board, I'm getting it so that it's cutting a 90 degree cut. But you can see that I'm only cutting just a thin sliver because the part is not square. I'm only cutting one edge up. I'm also finding that the plane is just riding over the top of the wood. I can see that the mouth is plugged up. That tells me that the frog is too far forward. I need to move the frog back a bit. I've got a little gap in there. I can actually have maybe 20 thousandths. I can move the frog back. So we'll adjust that. Just want to loosen them up a little bit so I can tap it. That way I can control how far I take it. I'm 
I'm getting chips up between the blade cap and the blade. That's causing it to choke. Got some pitting up here near the end of the blade. That's going to take some work to get that pitting out. I have to kind of maneuver the blade around that bolt. The bolt. Normally I just drop them right in, but that bolt means I have to kind of slide it in. While pushing the plane forward, I'm just turning the knob bringing out the adjustment. Now this is a right hand thread, so I'm running it counterclockwise to advance the blade. Some of the newer ones have a left hand thread, which means that you advance it clockwise to advance it. It's kind of more intuitive to do the clockwise thing than it is the counterclockwise, but both work. You just have to remember which one you've got. Now I've gone a little too far. I have to back up. Part of it's just this blade is so dull. But it is working, and I'm not ready to do the sharpening. Still in the seeing how the thing works. I like to do that before I make a whole lot of changes to it. Sometimes I find that I need to sharpen it differently just because of the way the plane is made. I think I got it pretty close. Starting to get it up, a nearly full chip. But I've kind of boogered up the surface, so I'm not going to get full smooth chips for a little while. Yet. Considering I'm working with an extremely dull blade, I'm just shy of taking a full width chip. And that is a dead 90 corner. So the plane is a great joiner, does a wonderful job planing off this pine. Of course, pine is soft, and I chose it because I knew the blade was dull. This is a much easier thing to cut than oak.
I might be off a couple thousand cents of flatness. I did a lot more cutting out here than I did back here, and there's a knot right there, which seems to be a high spot. Once I get past that, I've got a good cut. That took care of the knot. And now I have a flat straight board, 90 degree square. This fence may be homemade and improvised, but it works really good. Having both the bottom of the plane and the fence waxed makes it slide across the part real easy. I'm very happy with how this plane turned out. $20 and about, that was about eight hours worth of time on this thing. I think it's time and money well spent. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know, I read them all. Thanks for watching.